Hi there, this is Jamie from Time and Space, and today I'm very excited to be able to show you the new virtual piano instrument from Garatan, CFX Lite. Um, just to give you a bit of background, for those of you who aren't familiar with Garatan products, a couple of years ago they released a product titled CFX Concert Grand, um, which was a virtual piano sampled solely from the Yamaha Grand Piano in Studio One um, at the renowned Abbey Road Studios. Um, and it was recorded in extreme detail using various different microphone setups and it offered different audio perspectives um, based on the positioning of the microphones. Um, so basically what CFX Lite is, uh, is a subset of the CFX Concert Grand product, um, but it focuses entirely on the um, close mic perspective. Uh, so that's picking up the true tonal character and sort of natural sound of this world-class piano. Uh, so just to start off with, I'm going to play you a short demo uh, just on the default preset to give you an idea of how the instrument sounds and then after that we can start looking more in depth at what else it has to offer. So just from listening to that, you can hear the meticulous care that's gone into making this instrument and the results are really remarkable. Um, so this is the main interface here. As you can see, it's a nice clear layout, um, a nice picture of the Yamaha in Studio One here. Um, right at the top here, we've got the presets. Um, so there's a nice selection, as you can see, uh, and they're available in full or compact. Um, or if you select empty, you can uh, build up your own sound from scratch. Um, along the bottom we've got the visual keyboard uh, and the pedals which can be clicked on and off um, or obviously if you have a um, pedal plugged into your MIDI controller um, you can use that. And just above the keyboard here we've got some tuning functions. Um, so we've got various different pitch standards um, with 440 hertz being the most common. Uh, we've got fine pitch, semitones and octave uh, with three up, three down. Um, along the side we've got a level, a basic limiter, and a stereo width dial. And written here are the names of the microphones used to record CFX Lite. Um, so we've got a mix here of Newman M49 and KM184 pairs, uh, which are some really high quality microphones, uh, which have contributed to the pure and natural sound of this piano. Uh, now if we switch to the next page up here, which is piano, um, this is where you can start manipulating the sound some more. Uh, so to start off with, we've got three different lid position options, open, half open or closed. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the um, subtle changes in character when you change these. Um, then we also have various release styles. Um, so we've got room decay or release decay. Um, and that basically picks up the natural acoustics of Studio One. Um, so you can choose how much of that you want um, and the volume as well, so if you wanted a completely dry sound, you could take either of these down to zero. And... Like that. Uh, then we also have release crossfade and the pedal noise. And finally, we have sympathetic resonance and sustained resonance. Um, so basically what these do is when turned up, they add um, a ringing sound to the note using new harmonics from other notes. Um, and the sustained resonance will control the amount of ringing um, when the sustain pedal is pressed. Moving on to the studio page, um, you can find a nice selection of great new reverbs um, offering various different rooms and halls as well as some more interesting and experimental ones. And a uh, really exciting update to CFX are these 22 reverb impulses of actual presets from Abbey Road Studio One rap gear, um, which is a big feature for me. Um, and you also now have more control over the reverb with added decay and size dials. Um, so I'm just going to take you through some of these reverb presets to give you an idea of what they sound like.
And that's just a few of the reverbs on offer. So lots to experiment with. Um, also on this page, we have stereo imaging from the perspective of the audience or the performer. Uh, so if I switch over to performer, you can hear the bass clef notes uh, pan to the left as if you were sitting at the piano. Um, or if you wanted to pan the whole keyboard, um, you could do that to your liking using the pan dial here. Uh, timbre effect is a new feature which will, as you guessed, change the timbre of the sound. Um, so if I turn it up high, gives you a sort of plucky sound like a clavinet or something. And then if you take it down, takes away um, the percussive sound. And the saturation dial um, will add a bit of volume to the sound as well as making it a bit more rich and full. And then finally we have a nice EQ strip. Um, with the option to change high, mid and low range frequencies. And finally, we have the advanced page. Uh, this graph here represents the velocity curve. So that's the relationship between the key velocity and the level that it's playing back at. Um, so you've got some presets to choose from here, or you could shape it yourself if you wanted. Uh, underneath, we have some specs such as RAM and sample rate, which is a useful little feature to have. Um, moving on, we've got the polyphony. So you could choose the maximum polyphony of the keyboard if you wanted to. Um, we've got re-pedaling and partial pedaling, which are two entirely new features uh, which aim to add more realism to pedal behavior. Um, so re-pedaling will catch a note um, with the sustained pedal after it's played and partial pedaling um, will allow you to um, use a constant sustained pedal to vary the amount of damping applied. And finally, we have a dynamic range dial and some more advanced tuning functions, um, which allow you to load in um, new tuning description files. So that was CFX Lite from Garatan. Um, I'd highly recommend this product. It will work great as a standalone instrument, um, obviously due to the incredibly natural sounding tone that's been captured at Abbey Road Studios. Uh, but it will also work really well in a mix um, using all the extensive sound shaping tools provided. Uh, just as a summary, CFX Lite requires a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM and 22 gigabytes of free hard drive space. Uh, but for more information, visit our website at www.timespace.com.